so it has perfectly loaded our video file and we can easily see that it is able to detect persons in the video file as we can see it's creating the bonding box hello and welcome back to rocket systems youtube channel today in this video we are going to write a python script which will be loading up a video file and then we'll be performing person detections on the frames of the video file in the previous video we discussed how we can do person detection on an image file but in this video we are going to do this on a video file so let's close this and let's create a new file let's create a new file and let's name it as person detection video dot file now you obviously need person detection video file i have provided my video files which i am using inside the videos directory let me just open it inside the videos directory i have my own test video files but you are free to use any other video files if you want you can also download this whole project from the from the link given in the description box now let's come back to our coding part so in order to direct uh, persons in a video file we will obviously using cv2 to load up the uh, the video file so let's start by importing cv2 let's also import imutils and let's also import numpy as np now next is we need to define the path of our model file so we have two Two files one is a proto txt file and one is a cafe model file so let's define those path now the model file is present inside the model directory inside the object detection and these are the model files so let's go that so model slash object detection slash mobile net ssd deploy dot proto similarly we also have to define the model path so let's create a variable named model path and let me just quickly copy this paste it and let's simply rename it to cafe model now again uh, because we are using a generic object detection model which has a lot of other classes so we have to define variable classes and let me just copy paste its content first so here we go now once we have all the classes we will simply load up our uh, video file so we will use cap cv2 dot video capture and inside this if you want to do inferencing over a webcam you can define 0 or 1 depending upon you are using inbuilt or an external webcam if you want to do inferencing over a test video file like our case so we will define the path of our test video file or if you want to take frames from an RTSP camera you can define an RTSP, uh, uh, RTSP URL here as well now after creating this variable let's start by using while true and then we will load up our frames after this we will simply resize our frames let's take width as 600 and then after that let's, uh, let's extract our height and width from the frame so height and width which will be from frame dot shape perfect now let's create a blob so blob equals to cv2 dot okay so i just realized that we also forgot to create our detector so let's create our detector here detector equals to cv2 dot dnn dot read net from cafe 
proto path and then obviously the cafe model path model path and then similarly here we have to define dot blob from image frame perfect now once that is done let's pass this in our detector so detector dot set input blob and then finally let's pass let's create a person detections and detector dot forward so now inside this person detection we have the result of all the detections from our model inferencing so now we are just simply going to use for i in np dot range person detections dot shape and then let's calculate the confidence because we are only considering the results which has more than 50% confidence so and if confidence confidence is greater than 0.5 then only we will proceed now once that is done let's also calculate the id of the of the result so person detections now let's see what uh, class we have for this id so if that is not person because we are doing person detection only then we will simply continue but if that is the case then we will proceed and simply extract the person bounding box which we can get from person detections Now let's just take start x, start y, and x, and y, and this we will get from person box dot as type int because we don't want to work with the float numbers. And uh, I guess after this, let's just simply draw the rectangle for the bounding box of the person so we will simply use frame and then we have to define the x y x1 y1 so that will be a start x start y similarly and x and y and then here zero let's i mean this is the this is the variable where you define color and then the thickness or so color we are just keeping as red default and then once that is done i think uh, we just have to show our uh, cv2 window so we'll go outside of our for loop cv2 dot i am show and and uh, let's take a variable application and let's show the frame and then after that we just have to do our usual stuff of cv2 dot weight key and if key equals to equals to q which means if someone is pressing q that means we just have to break And then if we are breaking from the while loop we will simply use cv2 dot 
destroy sorry destroy all windows that's it okay so the code looks perfectly fine i don't see any issues uh, so let's just quickly go and run this code let's see if it throws any okay so it has numpy has no attribute arrange so it looks to me that there is a typo so let's go back and this should be yeah now it's fine let's run it again okay so it has perfectly loaded our video file and we can easily see that it is able to detect persons in the video file as we can see it's creating the bonding box so i guess this way you can perform person detection on any video file if you want to do person detection on an rtsp camera you can even do that as well by defining the rtsp url but this was just a simple demonstration simple test to show how you can perform person detection using opencv python on jetson nano or jetson xavier so i guess that's all for this video thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to the channel